Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Max Geek Corner. Today I'm showing you another challenge point and how to farm points or farm to get those challenge points unlocked. We are taking a look at Cat Burglar. You can see it right there. Uh, but before we do that, guys, I have to warn you, there are spoilers with what I'm about to talk about. So if you have not played the game, definitely, definitely uh, bookmark the page. Uh, come back later when you've had a chance to play the game. This is actually right near the beginning of the game. Um, so keep that in mind. So I'm going to let you know. Last time, spoilers, give you a couple seconds to pause and back out. Okay, now we're going to jump into this. Uh, but before we do, guys, if you enjoy any of the gameplay you see here today, definitely check out that Twitch link down below. I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, and then Saturdays at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, that is when I do a collab with a friend of mine, uh, Playbeat Delete. You may have seen her in my previous videos where we were talking about playstation and then we did the podcast together um so her and i have collabs going on over there uh but let's get into it cat burglar now the best place to find lock picks especially if you have any leftover from your first playthrough definitely hold on to them until you get to um the actual village section so after you've done the whole lichen battle with all the werewolves trying to kill you at once uh you end up in the village where the witch is and everything so you can use one there and you can do this trick there if you want um there is another one i happen to have two lock picks in my inventory so i found another one right after lady domitreskin the daughters lock you up or chain you up to the wall and um ethan's hands ethan's poor hands get ripped apart <laughs> trying to get off there and uh, there's a locked um, dresser right outside of that room. So we're going to take a look at that real quick. All right. First things first, actually, I'm going to pick up this treasure because I'm going to need it for later. Okay. Where did I see it? Here you are. So, go. Got my one and only lock pick left in my inventory. We're going to unlock this. And I think it's going to give me shotgun shells. I'm not sure. Ah, it does. Okay, same thing. All right, so. Go back down. You're going to see it now says 12. 12. So I'm going to do this three more times and unlock the challenge point or the challenge itself. Uh, I won't do that in the video here, um, but there you have it, guys. Same thing. It carries over into the restarted checkpoint and everything. So. You don't have to worry about, oh man, am I going to get them all in one sitting? Uh, again, it's better to do this on New Game Plus when you've already unlocked the challenges because then you can see what the heck you're actually unlocking and what you're trying to unlock. And you don't have to worry about, uh, oh, I missed some stuff. I didn't get anything. So in the regular New Game, just play through it, enjoy the game, have fun with it. And then your second playthrough is when you can go through and just kind of start unlocking challenges and doing what you want to, to get those and everything. But that is about it, guys, for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. If you're enjoying Resident Evil Village as much as I am, let me know in the comments down below. Let's chat about it. I love this game. Uh, let me know what your favorite part was, your favorite boss, favorite weapon. Uh, you know, are you still a fan of Ethan? Yes, no, maybe so. Is Chris cooler in this game or not? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and as always, guys, definitely hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Ring that bell to be notified of when videos do, do, do go live. I do post every week. I'm trying to get back into the habit of posting every week. Um, since I started working, it's been a little bit harder for me to, you know, get videos recorded during the day and everything. So um, just keep an eye out for new videos. Um, and like I said, if I can figure out the crafting meals for this, I might do another video for that. But I really just wanted to cover a few of the easy challenges. Like there's a few in here, like, view all the figurines view all the um fit the art stuff and everything i don't have to show you guys that you just buy it inside the extra content shop and view it from the viewfinder and everything um and then there are some related to mercenaries and i'm gonna actually cover mercenaries in a separate video and i will talk a little bit about the challenges for those as well so keep an eye out for that one as well uh and as always guys Share with your friends and family, and I will see you on the next episode. Y'all take it easy, and if you're enjoying Resident Evil, keep enjoying it. I'll see y'all next time.